The South Atlantic is a vast, massive body of water with very little land or places to hide. There are, however, two very unique volcanic islands that lie in the middle of this ocean. We had just spent an amazing three weeks on St. Helena. Although we had our sights set on Brazil, we knew that we had to make the stop at the very unique and remote Ascension Island. data recording sheet. I feel like this could be a science project in the seventh grade. Doesn't this kind of feel like it? So what are we doing? Well, I don't know what we're doing. That's what we're trying to figure out. We volunteered to be um, eDNA water sample collectionists. We have to wear gloves too. The Ascension like Island government was looking for yachts to volunteer to collect water and plankton samples while en route to Ascension. Upon arrival, the researchers would use the eDNA found in the samples to study the biodiversity of the surrounding marine protected area. We'll let the actual scientists explain more later. This is the DNA extraction. Well, we are leaving St. Helena, bound for Ascension Islands. We have 700 miles to go. It's free! Ascension, here we come! Oh, I'm at St. Helena! second night out on the passage to Ascension and we have beautiful sailing conditions we've got the Genoa pulled out a little bit of flogging and last night in the middle of the night we woke up to a loud bang and the down guy right there snapped off the little piece of dyneema that's actually touched the pole. So this line, these two lines that keep the pole to, like down, fell in the water and we had to furl in the sail quickly and put the pole away. But today, I was able to repair it. Is it, is it working? Yeah, almost. And I've got a new uh, soft shackle on there. Jen is on the bow doing yoga. Just a couple of maneuvers, something to do during sunset. Got the boom for support here. <laughs> Chill night on the South Atlantic. Dude, we're feeling so much better. Yes, finally got some sleep. Good sleep. Yeah. Now I think I'm ready to continue our science project. We are sterilizing some equipment. And I'm reading the instructions again. So we're gonna try to tow this behind the boat at this speed. We'll see how it goes. Long enough. Look how many planktons are going in there right now? So I don't breathe any water. Citizen scientist. Citizen scientist. Helping out the ascension researchers. Yes, we're doing our part. 
We're earning our keep on ascension. Take the membrane. We've sterilized everything. Oh yeah, we're getting a better vacuum this time. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so the next step we put in this bag and then we'll label it and throw it in the freezer. So we need to pick up the membrane with the forceps. Go. Bag it. Seal it. 10 degrees 50.034 three four south nine thirty one six three eight here we go and now we'll put it in the freezer it's gonna be a big night in kebabs. yes it's donut kebab night so we're gonna have chicken thigh and some seasoning we have fresh pita bread that we're gonna fry up it's gonna be delicious i think that's i think that's gonna be okay <laughs> Beautiful sailing. Day three. Be halfway tomorrow. Pita. Veggies. We got donor kebab coming right up. Donor kebabs in the high seas. Really good. We're trying to get the pieces neat. Mmm. Mmm. Well, it's 12 years old. Yes. I mean, it was only eight or nine knots of apparent wind, but one flog, we just heard it. Ah! Success. It looks good. Yeah. Better pair, you can barely tell. You can see how big it was, though. Whoa, look, let me come have a look. We did it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that looks pretty good. The white repair is really good. So from a distance, you can't even see. Well, it looks good, but it's over hold. Yes. Well, it's about two o'clock now. We'll see how many hours we get out of this. You ready for your shift? Mm. Uh -uh. Do you have your marbles? Not really. It's really easy conditions out there. I haven't done a single change. It's beautiful. Thank goodness. Okay, I'm off to sleep. Okay. The moment I've been waiting for. To go into the forward cabin for a good sleep. Fluffy duvet, pillows. Going to be a good sleep. Good morning. It is the morning of day five, I think. Beautiful conditions this morning. It's kind of like the South Atlantic brochure uh, conditions that we were that we've been told about. That is just so relaxing and chill. Uh, we're doing okay. We've got the Genoa pulled out. And minimal flogging, it's staying full. Right now we've got nine knots of apparent wind from 130 degrees. There has 
has only been one at a time on passage where we could actually set the table up and have dinner. Today it is so calm that we can actually have a meal at a table. The lamb chops uh, grilling right now and we're having a fancy dinner. That's why I'm wearing this dress. Yes, I think this will do. So. Warm enough and wear a dress. No need to brush my hair. <laughs> Right now it's 5 a.m. and there's the most beautiful full moon out um, cruising along around six to seven knots. We weren't expecting that. We thought we'd be motoring and it's absolutely perfect. Good morning. It is our last day at sea. We had a really nice sail through the night, but unfortunately the wind's gotten really light so we're motoring now, as you can probably hear. But it's okay because we only have about 60 miles to go and then will be in Ascension, so that's exciting. It's the home stretch will be there uh, this afternoon, just in time for cold beers. Yeah, it's a beautiful morning. Yet again on the South Atlantic. Guess what? Lano! Very clearly a lot of research going on here. There's domes and satellite dishes like all over the place. It's crazy. It's beautiful. Not the domes, but the land. Jin's putting up the, the Q flag. Arriving Ascension Island. Time for a drink. Cheers. Cheers. Another safe passage. Another safe passage. Taste of the ocean. The next morning, we went on shore to check in and, of course, drop off our water and plankton samples with the Ascension researchers. Hey, we're on land for the yes. first time. Yes! Ooh, that's nice! Land, oh. Okay, so we have Checking into Ascension? Yes. We're all checked in. So Pretty. we can stay here for up to three months if we want. It's a very easy process. Yes. Just a couple, Long time. couple forms. Um, so, yeah, part of what we're trying to do with the eDNA, which is environmental DNA, is get an idea of the biodiversity of the, the surrounding marine protected area. And what we can do is take water samples or plankton samples, mush them all up, extract the DNA from it, and then we can match that DNA against a sequence library. Mm. And then we can actually tell what's been in the water even without having to see it. 
So we're asking people that are actually coming from St. Helena into our marine protected area to collect water and plankton as they're traveling through because we don't have the ability to get offshore very much. Mm. So if we're as, you know, if people are, are coming this way anyway and happy to contribute, such as you guys, mm. then it really adds to the, um, our ability to monitor the marine protected area and see what species are out there. Oh, so cool. this is um, where we bring the samples into here. Mm -hmm. We'll cut these all up and we'll extract the DNA from them and then we'll take them next door into the sequencing lab and actually get the DNA out of it and oh. yeah, assign the, the sequences to it. Okay. So you can have a look next door as well. Okay, that'd be cool. Just awesome. In the freezer. Thank you. That's okay. This is where we bring the DNA once we've extracted it from the filters. Oh, wow. I have a PCR machine here, which requires a lot of chemical reagents to actually um, amplify the DNA and be able to sequence it. Wow. And this is our sequencer. Mm -hmm. And we are waiting for the correct power cord to arrive. Oh, <laughs> when does that arrive? So, when the ships? I know. <laughs> they, they've sent one before, but it was the wrong one. So now oh. I have to go back and say, oh, no, we're UK, not European. So can you please send the right power oh, no. cord? So we're waiting now again. So what exactly are you are you looking for? Like whales going through, or plastic, or? Um, so the with the DNA samples, we're looking for biodiversity of plankton, of fish, of mammals. So um, with this PCR machine, we can put um, it's kind of like magnets. They're mm -hmm. called primers onto the ends of the the DNA, and then we can amplify either fish or invertebrates oh. or whales or whatever kind of um, specific creatures we're looking for okay so yeah so in this case we're looking for fish okay because this machine does very short sequencing so the um the dna barcodes in the fish that we're using um they're actually pretty good at, at determining between different species whereas in vertebrates you actually need a lot longer chain of dna to okay tell what's what so oh. we will try and develop that capability in the future but for right now we're looking at fish okay yeah. So then if we accidentally, we were trying to be really careful with the samples mm -hmm. of gloves and everything, yeah. but if we accidentally, like, so we did the samples in the kitchen, let's mm -hmm. say, like, some, like, cheese yeah. or something got on there, yeah. like, would you be able to say, okay, that was just, <laughs> just going to throw everything off them, but you can still find the fish? Yeah, or, okay. yeah. Okay, so good. if we were putting the mammal primers on them, okay. for example, we might oh. find cow in the sample. Okay. But obviously we know that you're not going to find cow in the middle of the okay. ocean, so we just filter that out of the okay. DNA. <laughs> we, we might also find ourselves. Okay, <laughs> yes. Human DNA. Oh, it's my DNA. <laughs> might be on there. <laughs> it, won't, it won't be your exact DNA. Okay. It'll just be enough that says there's human in this sample. Okay. And then so. we recognize that from the results. We filter that out of the data oh, good. and we just go, right, and here's the fish. Okay. Well, I'm sorry if there's some human. It's probably going to be a little human on there. Human. <laughs> oh, always, it's okay. Good. There's always human. Okay. It's, it's impossible to, to filter okay. it all out. Okay. Good. So we really appreciate you guys actually partaking oh, in this. It's, it's our pleasure. It's been great. And if you have any feedback, as to how we can let people in the future know to do it better or easier. <laughs> um, we are very happy to have that as well. Next time on Outside Watch. After exploring the incredible interior of Ascension, we set sail on the Passage of Rainbows, a 10-day, 1400 nautical mile sail to Salvador, Brazil.